We present our work Red Gun Attacking Class Imbalance via Condition Generation. In the medical imaging context, the gun based augmentation has been applied to classification and segmentation problems. However, all these studies do not differentiate between a varying global property, such as varying acquisition setup. Neglecting this can negatively affect the synthesis performance since GAN networks, not being instructed to separate between different global classes, would generate images of either a random class or some average over global classes appearance. First contribution of our work, we propose a GAN design conditioned on such global information in addition to the local one, namely segmentation masks. This allows controlling class-specific appearance of the generated images. When one talks about the class imbalance problem, we normally imply the imbalance over semantic classes, for example, different lesion or healthy tissue areas. However, it can be that in a dataset, there is also an imbalance over global classes. For example, in the breast dataset, there are MRI scans that are obtained from various image acquisition environments that can differ in terms of contrast. Thus, it is of practical interest also to solve the imbalance problem for such global classes. To address the global class imbalance problem, we resort to conditional GANs. We equip the state-of-the-art SPADE GAN conditioned on a label map with the global label conditioning. Such conditioning instructs the network to separate between global classes during training and allows to control class-specific generation during inference. Moreover, such simple conditioning allows to make use of the representation learned during GAN training on the whole dataset for synthesis of a particular global class. It means that if we want to use the SPADE GAN that allows to condition only on the semantic map to generate particular global class images, then we would need to train the GAN only on a portion of images from the whole dataset that correspond to this class. This in turn leads to low quality of generated images, since there is not enough training data for the GAN to learn rich hierarchy of image representations. Thus, when we make an experiment by augmenting original data with synthetic images for the downstream segmentation task, we get dice score even lower than for a baseline, which is a segmentation network trained without any augmentations. Whereas for the proposed red GAN, we train the GAN network on the whole dataset that results in a higher quality of synthetic images that in turn manifests in the increase of segmentation accuracy for the downstream segmentation task compared to baseline. The second contribution of our work aims to improve on the quality of the synthesized images. To do so, we incorporate a third player in the adversarial game to stimulate synthesis of the features relevant for the downstream segmentation task. More precisely, we take as the third player a unit network that is fully trained on the same data before the adversarial game begins. During the game, both the synthetic image produced by the generator and the real image are separately passed through the segmenter. Finally, the discriminator takes as input not only concatenated real and synthetic images, as in conventional GAN design, but also concatenated feature representations that are extracted from the last feature layer of the segmenter. We validate our framework on two widely available datasets, BRADS and ISIC. We augment original datasets according to the following strategy. We inject synthetic images that are generated for a particular global class from all masks in the training set except the ones belonging to the class. We compare the strategy with the baseline that is a unit trained without any augmentations, depicted in gray. We observe that by using the strategy, a strong accuracy increase compared to the baseline is achieved for the injected class. For most of the other classes, there is a smaller increase or even decrease of the die score. This suggests that the generated images possess the desired property of being specific to the injected class. Our code is readily available on GitHub. Thank you for your attention.